For some of you guys, this may be old news. So back in May or June of this year, a third party lab, an independent lab, tested turkesterone products from several big name companies. And what they found was it basically wasn't turkesterone at all. It was extremely underdosed to where it was just more of a placebo. One of the companies that is very big on social media and has a very big name clapped back with their own third party tests that showed that the product actually was what it should have been. So I'm not here to point the fingers one way or another, but what you have here is two independent labs with very different readings on a product. Could have been different lots that were tested. What I will say is I do know the lab that creates the products with a bigger name company and they've done unethical things in the past. That's why it's important for you as consumers, you not only have to trust the person behind the brand, but it's also important to do some research and find out what labs they're using and double tap the credibility of them. Now this turkesterone scam isn't the first time this has happened. It's happened with amino spiking and proteins. It's happened in other products being tainted with you know, banned substances. And this is one of the main reasons why we opt to have all of our products third party tested for accuracy of label so you know exactly what you're putting in your body. Now I oftentimes get asked what product should I be taking as an NCAA athlete and I would honestly recommend looking for a product that has the BSCG seal or an informed choice seal which means the product's been tested for 200 plus banned substances. So if you're a consumer in the market for sports nutrition products please do your due diligence, do a little bit of research.